Bible said, whoever wants to see Satan, let him look, take a look at Naphtal B. al -Hurith. He was a sturdy black man with long flowing hair and flamed eyes and dark ruddy cheeks. He used to come and talk to the apostle and listen to him, and then carry what he had said to the hypocrites. It was he who said, quote, Muhammad is all ears. If anyone tells him anything, he believes it. God sent down concerning him, quote, And of them are those who annoy the prophet and say he is all ears, say, good ears for, for you. He believes in God and trusts the believers and, 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 and is a mercy for those of you who believe. And those who annoy the apostle of God, for them there is a painful punishment, end quote. So, if you take just the, the sentence, if you want to see Satan, look, look, at a, look at this man who happens to be black, then of course you're going to think, okay, uh, Muhammad is racist. But if you actually read in the context, which is a statement that I think people need to learn what that means, um, because or else we're in a lot of trouble here, it, this man was not condemned because of his skin color. The biographer Ibn Ishik is giving us a description so we can visualize who this person is, because if he just said so-and-so, then we're going to sit here and go, well, okay, who is that? What did he look like? Things of that nature. But instead, Ibn Ishik tells us what he looks like. He happens to be an African. and But the important thing is not because of his skin color, it's because he is betraying the Muslims to the hypocrites. As I just... Okay... Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. We were listening to this smart gentleman. Actually, he's amazing how smart he is. And always I'm surprised with the... Like, I don't know. Like, when you are a Muslim, honestly, it, it looked like, you know, Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom in your heart the same he did to Muhammad. You remember there's a story in the Quran about Allah installing a dish made of gold, full of wisdom in the heart of Muhammad. Which makes sense because I saw some places you can order dishes of wisdom. Now I don't know from where really he got his dish of wisdom, but for sure his dish is very delicious. Now he said that what the prophet said about Satan is going to be look like an African, like a black man. He's saying it happened to be this way. It doesn't mean anything. Come on, it happened. Uh, this is makes sense but and he said to make things more funny that uh, he is telling us that he is a black so we can recognize him this is very smart of you man I honestly I like it so this is mean that Satan always going to be black because you just said to recognize him so if a white man came to me for sure he is no Satan and you just proved to me that Muhammad saying to us that black and Satan they are together forever Satan cannot be a, a white man Satan always is going to be a black guy because you just told us how to recognize him so Muhammad he said clearly that Satan is going to be an African is going to be black as you said and it's a way to recognize him and this is a proving to me that any time Satan will come to me he will come only as a black he can't be white now the question here who is the one made him black you said it happened what are, are you an atheist what do you mean it happened according to Islam it's everything is done by Allah it is decision of Allah to make him black always then right which mean Allah is the one he's saying to us because he is bad I made him black and then you will say to me, oh, come on, don't play with words. This is how it is. Otherwise, why Satan cannot be a white man? Why he have to be a black man? And you know what? I have a video for you made by one of your brothers. He is extremely smart like you. Muslims, they have dish of wisdoms in their hearts. Installed by Allah, ordered in, from Hong Kong. He is showing us that Allah will send genies, bad genies, which means they are Satan, to you as a black cat black dog black snake black bird blah, 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 black now don't tell me it happened simply it did not happen to be it made to be by Allah because Allah is saying clearly that the black one is your enemy this is why your prophet he ordered to kill the black dogs the black cats the black birds anything is 100% black K 
kill him according to your prophet and this is a proving to me that Muhammad he hated black people and this is really a shame follow with me watch this video and learn Has anyone ever seen one? Today's topic, Jinn, Prophet and they wanted him to read them some Quran, and there are bad Jinns, and yes, they really do exist. Today, people are talking about how they see Jinns, how they deal with Jinns, how they write books with Jinns, how they write songs with Jinns. There's a big fat lie Muhammad is saying in here, that he cut a genie and he was going to tie him to the column of the house or the mosque but he did let him go he did wanted to tie him to the column just to show others about the genie he wanted, he wanted to show them the genie but you know what just before you came I released him this is a big fat lie and this is a proof that Muhammad is a liar because you know what isn't it you who caught him for the first time nobody ever saw a genie and we should see that genie why you released him? But he said, I remember what uh, my brother Solomon, he said. Mm -hmm. So, so first of all in here, we saw the proof that Muhammad, he saw genie. And not only that, the Prophet, he said, that you have to say the name of Allah before you have intercourse. With, and we will see who are they, the bad genie. Mm -hmm. We see a genie. They do come in different types of forms, but you will never see the original form of a jinn. What kind of forms? Black cats? Black donkeys? Black birds? All kinds of snakes. Especially black dogs. This is a Muslim sh saying that you are not me, so I don't want anyone to accuse me of anything. You will notice that all those bad genies, they are coming to you in a form of a black animals, actually black horse, black bird, and endless, endless, you know. Uh, 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 anyways, anything is black in Islam, he is bad, he is evil. And in here, we say to those who they are black African, how Muslims they fool you saying Islam don't discriminate. Ask yourself, what is the difference between a blonde dog and a black dog? What is the difference between a black cat and a white cat? What is the difference between a black horse and a red horse? What is the difference between a black donkey and a white donkey why the black is the bad one simply because their prophet he said that to them and this is showing us how racist is Muhammad how racist is Islam always even the snake the black snake is the bad one this is disgusting the black dog is disgusting we have to kill all the black dogs according to Muhammad and this is showing us what Islam is about really you can never really see a jinn they do come in different types of forms, but you will never see the original form of a jinn. What kind of forms? Black cats? 
black donkeys. Black birds. All kinds of snakes. Especially black dogs.